I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBuzz Center, where you should get ready to have your mind blown. It is an absolute pleasure to welcome Utkarsh Tandon, who is 16 years old and a 10th grader at Cupertino High School, and Ms. Seema Kumar, who is a vice president in jo at Johnson & Johnson, which is the sponsor of the BioGenius competition with which Utkarsh has just won here at the Biotechnology Innovation Organization International Meeting. First of all, congratulations. Second of all, please tell us what your study was called Prognosis via Hypertensive Modeling in ML-Based Morphological Computer Vision for Rapid Ophthalmology. Go. So diabetic retinopathy is an issue that affects 160 million people worldwide. And basically what occurs is, is that due to high blood pressure, the blood vessels behind someone's retina causes ruptures and therefore lesions that can affect people to go blind. Uh, and th therefore, um, the, the current diagnostics take up to six weeks before an ophthalmologist can return results to the patient. And basically what my project did is that it it devised this kind of machine learning and computer vision algorithms to be able to analyze these retinal images and automatically give these um, results to a patient in less than a minute to the patient. Udkarsh, how'd you come up with this? I mean, I, I really enjoyed doing computer science and machine learning, um, and I've really been interested in being able to solve puzzles, and basically I saw retinal images as a puzzle that I could solve, um, and I was able to get meaning from these in order to diagnose the disease at a very early stage. Seema, this is obviously uber impressive. <laughs> um, why does Johnson & Johnson decide this is what it wants to sponsor here at Bio, besides the fact that the kids are amazing? Well, you know, they represent the future, and so Johnson & Johnson is interested in investing in the future and investing in the best young minds in science so that for the next generation of scientific leaders, we are prepared because we still have so many diseases to solve and we have uh, Alzheimer's disease, we have diabetes, we have um, um, cancer, we have so many different diseases still left to be solved. And so, you know, we need a new generation of talented young scientists like Utkarsh who can come up with these kinds of amazing ways to diagnose, treat, prevent, and cure diseases. And Seema, in the course of your career, you've been close to early developments like this. You've worked at the Whitehead Institute, you've worked at Johns Hopkins, you've worked at the National Institutes of Health, you've been involved in the Human Genome Project, and now at J&J. So you really have witnessed the importance of this kind of work. Absolutely, and the, this kind of work is what finally leads to solutions for the future. And that's why we are investing in this kind of work. And the amazing, diverse array of projects that were actually on exhibit and and the, that the students have came up with and presented is just mind-blowing, as you said, Mike, because um, from cancer and diabetes and HIV and many other diseases, and to rare diseases like Gaucher's disease, uh, these students have come up with just phenomenal ways to solve diseases. And so, future is bright if you think about the projects that they are working on, you know, if they continue to work on it. So, Utkarsh, thanks to Johnson & Johnson, you're going to receive $7,500 as your prize. What are you going to do with the money? So I think I'm definitely going to fund this project because I really want to propel it in the future uh, and make it something that it can be brought out to people in India and rural regions. Uh, but also funding my college education is one thing that I'm going to use this money for. Where are you going to go to school, do you know? I don't know right now. I'm still a sophomore, but somewhere local, so maybe Stanford. And why India? I mean, I, I've seen that over there, there are a lot of issues with the blindness. And uh, one thing is that since I've built this rural uh, application, something that can be brought out to rural regions in a low cost manner, I feel that I could really test it there in the first place and basically see if it's helping uh, people there from going blind in India and those rural regions. Seema, as you know, the theme of this year's bio meeting is just the word imagine. That's it. Um, so I'd like to ask you to fill in the blank. Imagine what? Imagine that one day in this world that children won't die unnecessarily, that we will solve some of the major diseases, and that our parents and grandparents and ourselves, that we won't fall ill uh, to diseases like Alzheimer's disease. And so improving lives, as Will Smith said earlier today in his keynote, that's what we want to imagine. Improving lives always. And imagine a world where, where innovation and new ideas are coming out of the minds of Utkarsh Tandon and 
people like it. Absolutely, and imagine a world in which innovation never stops coming and that we have a steady pipeline of breakthrough ideas and innovations like Utkarsh project, as well as the many other projects that we saw today in BioGenius Challenge uh, finalists. Yeah. Utkarsh, you give us all hope. Congratulations. Utkarsh Tandon, the uh, healthcare winner of the BioGenius Award uh, here at the Bio International Meeting, and Seema Kumar, the Vice President of Johnson & Johnson, Thanks both for joining us here at the BioBus Center. Thank you, Mike.